so sound bugs have actually fascinated me since they first came out. They produced a product called Whispering Windows, where you could get a sound bug, stick it on the window, and the entire window became a speaker. It was used a lot, actually, for um, shop windows and bus stops, uh, uh, signage, uh, banks were using them, loads of people were using these things. <laughs> they were awesome. They were hailed as a new speaker technology. Now, the um, company that produced them was a company called Fionic, which was a spin-off from Hull University, and they used a material called Turfanol D. Now, Turfanol D is a magnetostrictive material. It's actually an alloy of terbium, dysprobium, and iron, and it was come up with in the 1970s by the Naval Ordnance Laboratory in the US, and they used it for underwater acoustics, things like sonar. So it's a, a, an amazing material with only a few problems. It's a pain in the neck to produce. So there's an awful lot of research going into composites that exhibit magnetostrictive behaviour. And that is, when you apply a magnetic field, then they change their shape. They get fatter and shorter. And of course, as you do that, you can get the things to vibrate. Now, they have a much greater range than piezoelectric materials like PZBT, and they... Um, have a much wider range of applications. Now, lots and lots of things have been done, including putting strands of iron wire into silicon rubber. But it's actually not that difficult to create a material or to create a device that is magnetostrictive. We can use something as simple as this. This is an inductor. It is basically a ferrite or an iron core coil wrapped around it, you put a current in there, and of course it's a little electromagnet, and it creates a magnetic field. So we can use an inductor to create a magnetostrictive device. All we actually have to do is stick a little bit of rubber on there, and then a magnet. Now the magnet will stick, obviously, because we have a ferromagnetic material. But if we then supply that with the sound signal, what will happen is the magnet will be alternatively pulled and pushed away from the iron core in the middle of this inductor. And of course, that is then changing its shape in response to the magnetic field that's created by passing a current down an inductor. So that is a magnetostrictive device. Now, anything arranged like that will do that job, will get that magnet to be pulled and pushed away from the core. And we can use that to create a sound book. So I got myself a bit of glass, it's actually a panel from an LCD screen, and right in the centre with a bit of double-sided tape, I've stuck a magnet. Then we put the layer of rubber, and then we put our inductor, and that's it. That is our magnetostrictive sound. Hey, let's give that a go. There we go, our magnetostrictive sound bug made in a few minutes from an inductor and a magnet. And of course you can put that on absolutely anything, including a window. And a, a word about these things. Remember, this expects somewhere between four and eight ohms. So if you're less than eight ohms, you're going to find it works just Jim Dandy. If you go a bit above that, you're going to find it's a bit more difficult. But in order to make yourself a sound bug, either buy yourself some turf and old D, which will cost you an arm and a leg. I'll stick a magnet on an inductor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.